Boer Bulldog Breed Information The Good and the Bad In today's video, we are going to talk about the Boer Bulldog and its characteristics. Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are Cocker Spaniel World and we generally talk about all things dogs, not just Cocker Spaniels. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you would like to receive more dog tips and health-related content. So let's get to the video. The name, Boerbel, comes Afrikaans, Dutch words for farmer, boa, and dog, bowl, and indeed they were farmer's dogs when they were bred by Dutch settlers in South Africa starting in the 1600s. They were needed to defend the homestead and hunt dangerous wildlife such as hyenas, baboons, leopards, and other big cats. European settlers brought large, strong dogs with them to South Africa, which bred with indigenous domestic dogs and a variety of other breeds over the course of several centuries. Bulldogs and Mastiffs were also brought by the English and crossbred with Boer Bulls, and the Darbiers Diamond Mining Company imported Bull Mastiffs to guard their mines, which also bred with Boer Bulls to make them what they are today. It is uncertain exactly which breeds make up the Boer Bulls' ancestry, but only the strongest dogs were able to survive the hot weather and encounters with wildlife, which contributed to the Boer Bulls' tenacity and strength. After the World Wars, South Africa became more urbanized, and Bulbuls started to be crossbred with other dogs without regard for breed purity. In the 1980s, however, a group of breed enthusiasts sought to begin breeding pure Bulbuls again. Due to their efforts, the Bulbul gained popularity in South Africa and started to be exported around the world. The breed, however, is still fairly rare outside of South Africa. Bulbuls are large dogs with males averaging 24 to 28 inches in height at the shoulder, while females tend to be between 22 and 25 inches in height. Bulbuls usually weigh between 110 and 200 pounds, though some can be larger or smaller. Bulbuls are playful, intelligent, and eager to please. They are happiest when given a job to do, whether it's tough farm work, guard dog duty, or preparing for a competition where they can show off their agility and strength. This breed loves human family members, even children, though they are quite overprotective at times. The same instincts that make them good watchdogs and protectors can also make them fiercely territorial and aggressive if they aren't trained or socialized properly. Bulbuls tend to be dominant and require an assertive trainer who will use positive reinforcement and set boundaries without being harsh. This is not a dog for first-time owners. Patient, consistent training should be accompanied by early socialization to prevent aggression, and Bulbuls should get plenty of mental and physical stimulation, as they can get bored and anxious, which will lead to destructive behavior. Long walks, vigorous play sessions, and challenging devices like puzzle feeders can all help them get the activity they need. Being a large dog breed with moderate exercise demands, Bulbuls require space, so an apartment is not their ideal environment. The Bulbul is generally considered to be a healthy breed with few known hereditary conditions. There are, however, a few ailments that they are predisposed to and may develop over the course of their lives. They may suffer from hip or elbow dysplasia, heart disease, conditions that affect the eyelids, vaginal hyperplasia, and bloat. Rarely, they may also suffer from juvenile epilepsy. If you see signs of any of these conditions in your Bulbul, you should consult your veterinarian immediately. The Bulbul's main need when it comes to care is to be mentally and physically stimulated through exercise and play. Beyond that, regular care is fairly simple. Their nails should be trimmed about once every two weeks, and their teeth should be brushed regularly as recommended by a veterinarian. Bulbul's ears should be checked for debris and wax buildup weekly and cleaned as needed to avoid infection or infestation by pests. A Bulbul diet should be formulated for a large to giant breed with moderate to high exercise requirements. You should consult your veterinarian or professional nutritionist for advice on what to feed your Bulbul in the correct portion size. Bulbuls love their human families and are especially known for being protectors of their children. That said, they are large, playful dogs and may knock over a child by accident if things get out of hand. Children should be trained on how to interact with animals to avoid incident, as well. No poking and prodding, no matter how trained and docile a Bulbul may be. As with any dog, playtime should be supervised. The Bulbul's natural protective instinct may also be an issue when children have playmates over, as the Bulbul may interpret play as aggression and defend its family. That said, this is a breed that is known for absolutely adoring the human children within the family, and you couldn't ask for a better kid protector than a gigantic, agile Bulbul. When it comes to other dogs, Bulbuls do well with animals that they have been raised with and live in the same household, but they can be quite territorial and standoffish with unfamiliar dogs. 
they can also become competitive and aggressive with other bulbuls of the same sex. Early socialization can help keep the breed's confrontational instincts in check, but they may be best suited to a home where they are the only dog. In the description below, you will find two links. One will take you to our preferred trainer, the other will take you to our blog. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.